What's up guys, it's your boy Love Squad. We're here today. I'm bringing you guys this Naruto Shinobi Striker video. Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. Just in case some people say, why you didn't say the whole title? Well, I want to shorten it by saying Naruto Shinobi Striker. So today I'm just going to be talking about how everybody thought the game was dead. Like, oh, this game is trash. This game is dead. I was one of them people. So I'm thinking the game is dead. Not thinking I'm going to play this shit again. Like, oh, wow, this game's terrible. I don't know why I fucking like the game. So I thought about it for a reason. Well, not for a reason, for a minute. <laughs> But I thought about it for a minute, so I fly past the application about to get ready to delete it. I'm like, wait, why was I excited for the game release date? And why was I excited for when it first came out? So let me click into the game, play a match before I delete it, and see if I really want to delete the game. So, knowing me, I jump into a match, I'm going crazy. I mean, I'm beating the shit out of the ninjas. I'm like, wow, this game is actually more funny than what I thought. I don't know why I listen to other people thought the game was dead, because I used to play the game, it used to have a whole lot of lags. It's like the network coding got better. They fixed the lag, just to update the game and getting better, like, I'm starting to like the game more, like, this game is really a masterpiece, like, for people who always wanted the Naruto game to have a better character, this game is actually what you're looking for, this game is a nice game, it's not bad at all, I don't know what people are talking about, people always talk about, oh, we want Naruto Storm back, Naruto Storm never was terrible, every Storm game was the same gameplay-wise, just new characters added onto the roster, which they could have kept the same game and just added them other, um, Story parts is DLC for real because I mean they was updating the graphics, don't get me wrong, the graphics is getting better each Naruto Storm game, but what's the point of updating graphics and then we're just having the same gameplay with just newer characters at it. I mean the story mode was changing, we're getting different story missions. As far as like online play, we're just getting different battle mechanics and stuff like that, but still it all felt the same once we got used to the um, battle mechanics they gave it with L like three or two new battle mechanics a game. Sometimes they'll take some combos away and got Naruto game, like you'll have a full combo set and drop them and shit. Leave your character like three combos and they supposed to have four directional combos going up, down, left, and right. But yeah, back to Naruto Shinobi Spiker. See, people fucking sleep on this game. I don't know why. Because probably what they heard about it, the interviews, people, YouTubers say about it. I'm one of the YouTubers that think this game is really good. Because I play the day. I the thought I was delete the game, thought the game was trash, but I thought the game was actually pretty good. So as far as this game, you can't just rush into the game. I know a lot of people lose it the game like, oh, we get jumped, so they hate the game because they get jumped. It's ways to counter getting jumped in the game. You just got to play with a good team. Like, it's best playing with your friends. And y'all, like, working together, playing matches, finding each other weakness, like the game said, developing strategies. Like, come on now. And they even added a Chuni as damn mode. Well, I wouldn't call it mode, but a single elimination mode is what I'm going to call it. With the new map where um, every player for themselves, we're going to get into that in a minute. But first, I want to talk about the types and how ninjutsu and explosion work. You can't go into a match in this game just wearing a fit because you think, oh, it's just free as hell. I'm about to kick some ass in this badass Sasuke fit. No, you got to read the stats on what you're putting on your character so you can know, oh, well, these stats are going to help improve your character in the gameplay wise. Which is, I had to find that out myself. I knew it for a while, alright. I've been about stuff like this game came out. Always looking to the clothes thing. As far as the customization, customization game, I always look into the game like, oh, what's this outfit about? What this outfit does to read the stats for? It. This is one of them games you really want to read into the stats of what you put on your character. And look at your ninjutsu. See, like me. If I'm going to go range type, because I'm going to start off talking about each type and um, the weaknesses and best ways to plan them. So for a range type, you wouldn't want to go into a battle with a sweet ass outfit that doesn't give you cooldown for your ninjutsu because you're going to need cooldown for your ninjutsu because you're a range type. You suck at close range because your health is extremely low. A attack type will fuck you over at close range, even a healing type. Even a defensive type, they will fuck you, up or fuck you over in close range. So what you want to do is actually get like an outfit, both like your pants and your um shirt, or in your hair accessory if possible to fucking give you cooldown on your ninjutsu so you can get your ninjutsu back in a snap and you can stand back and fight from a distance like with fireball, jutsu, and matsurasu, shit like that. You wanna get back, like, stay back at far range and never in the enemy space. If you get in the enemy space, I mean, you have combos to back them up if they get too close to you and stuff like that, but if I was a range type, I wanna choose ninjutsu to be able to push back, I could just sit back there, hit a ninjutsu, run around, throw a shuriken, and then recharge my shit back up. Now, for a week, no, I already talked about the for the healing type. Not the healing type, but the range type. So we're on to the healing type. I have not quite built or played with a healing type for it, so I have no ninjutsu for my healing type. I have not worked on it. Only types I worked on so far is my attack, my range, and my defensive type. Because, you no, know, I fucking love Hinan. So I had to go defensive type for a weapon and shit. So, for healing types, I'm really trying to talk about that discussion. See, I gotta get in, like, I only got two moves for my healing type. I have Yakugan and Air Palm. Which is good because and I still have a healing type tech. 
I don't use Biakugan. I don't think I used it yet, but I have to move my um arsenary. So with um fucking air palm, I use it like save on my healing type. I'm not healing my team up, and then oh shit, somebody's getting close to me. They're trying to come for me. So they see me healing the team up. So I will probably air palm their ass back. And then I see them blocking, try to like block when I come in for a combo. Of course, healing types have the strongest fucking guard break because they just hit triangle once or Y if you're on Xbox. And then you fucking break the opponent guard off the shit. Like, the shit's OP as hell. Healing types like fucking OP attack types with just healing added on to them. For real. But let's get into defensive types. Because, oh, defensive types, what I tell you about these motherfuckers. These some bad motherfuckers, don't get me wrong. These some bad motherfuckers. Because defensive types, they like, if you build it right, you can play a defensive type like an attack type. Because you got hell, hell, you got healy health. And then the ultimates you get. So the ultimates, as far as ultimates in this game, I wouldn't just choose the ultimate because it's badass. Oh, this ultimate's a one shot. Nah, I'm not a cheesy ass player like that. I want to whoop your ass with combos and hit you off my ninjutsu and whoop your ass. So as far as me for ultimates, I'll probably get shit like to heal me up and give me stat boosts. Like the Dragon Ball Z games, I'll choose like the Dragon Ball Z games. Of course, the, well, ultimate's no longer Super Saiyan. But back in Z-Mars 1, when everybody chose the ultimate Super Saiyan, I was that one dude who will have a Saiyan character. My build was fucking godly, don't, I will tell you that. I have a Saiyan character, but I would never fucking add Super Saiyan to Transformation or Ultimate because that was fucking stupid. Why have a Transformation? Well, no, I'm standing backwards, I'm standing backwards, my bad, my bad. I always had Super Saiyan to Transformation because I didn't like fucking blast coming high because if you miss that shit and somebody slip behind you and it's just to break you, you just fucking, you're, you're done for. You're getting fucking rape raped at that point in time. You're just standing right there getting your ass beat and you're just looking at slowly at your screen while you care to get his ass beat, which is dumb. So it's best to use transformation that give you stat boost or ultra that give you stat boost than the ultra that blasts out in one shot. Because at that point you just get stab boost for that. You ain't gotta worry about your ultra missing, you getting um somebody sneaking behind you and hitting you with a sack. But far as ninjutsus and shit, like I had to go um with I don't know how to pronounce his name. Can't yet pronounce it, but so I chose he down son. <laughs> I say he's on son, but I chose Hidon's weapon because I think my character is Hidon's son. I'm a fucking Hidon fan. I fucking love Hidon, so I'm gonna take my character to Hidon's son. So as an attack, I got the boxing gloves. I said the use use the boxing gloves. I fucking love them. I want the cat gloves. So I'm only a Chuni in this game, but I'm gonna make more Shinobi Striker videos, Dragon Ball Z Rush 2 videos, because Dragon Ball Z Rush 2 just had an update. This shit was dope. So guys, catch me in another video. I will be up only four to five videos a day. Probably not five. Probably three. Not four or five, three videos. But catch me in the next video, guys. Let's hit this video to five likes. Alright, guys, catch you in the next video.